Welcome, my name is Henke Willemsen. I am a business consultant from Exact. And in this video, I would like to show you how to use workspaces within Exact Synergy. What I did is I created a workspace based on the customer website using their colors and their pictures and using, of course, also icons that are available within Exact Synergy. First of all, I will go to my Synergy environment. You see it open here. And what I did is when I went to the customer website, I saved some pictures and some icons. And I also um, selected the color styles that the website uses and also the way you navigate within the system. I tried to copy that into Exact Synergy. When I first go to Exact Synergy, the first thing I always do is edit the preferences and make the logo of the customer here on the top left. You can do that in this way. And uh, what I also did, and I will not explain in this video how uh, that has been done, but I will create a link below the video where you can easily find information on how to create your own style sheet using Exact Synergy. Now you can already see that if I navigate through the system, for example, if I go to my workflow, I have the same way of navigating through Synergy as I do navigating through the website of the customer. You can expand that based on the things you see here. Please go to the link below on the video where you can uh, see how that has been done. What I would like to do now is focus on the workspace part. And first of all, I would like to add a new link in my empty workspace. I can give it a title. In this case, I will not, no description, just URL, where if I want to go to this information and I click on this link, I can say, well, do we want to open it in a new tab, in a new window or in the same window? I now select same window. You can do this, for example, if you want to show information within Exact Synergy um, after clicking on the link, for example, if you use another intranet solution other than the intranet of Exact Synergy. I would like to use a background picture and um, I will take this picture as an example. What we did now is create a link that if we click on it, we go to the URL I requested. I can decide where I want to put this logo. I can make it smaller, it resizes, or I can make it larger. And you see here a very large logo. Clicking on it automatically shows me the information that I want to see here within Exact Synergy, um, clicking on that link. When I go to the left top, I go again back to my default workspace, which is, which is open now. What I can also do is if I go within this software, I can search for documents. And for example, I want to show all the documents of Project X. If I want to have this search template open, instead of favorites, I can use the same, the add a link widget to workspace. What it now does is if I uh, edit the title uh, to my own needs, for example, search documents, search project X documents. It automatically gives me, if I click on it, the menu structure that you see now on searching documents. I can use an icon. I do that now. And as an icon, I do not want to use an icon that's uh, from the website of color.com, but I would like to select the images that are normally in the docs folder of the installation folder of Exact Synergy and I want to use the search icon. It's a SVG file, uh, which is really easy and scalable. And the color that I want to use, we have some default colors uh, selected here, but in um, my uh, uh, code, I have some uh, the color code already available. And I, if I paste it here, I can easily say, well, I want to have the same color as the color I want to use within my workspace. So this is automatically created from the navigation part within Exact Synergy. Once again, I can make it smaller, I can make it larger, I can do whatever I want to do with this icon. This would be for me now a nice format. What I can also do now is um, 
create an external link, link everywhere within the system so I can build my own menu page. Of course, uh, what I can also do is uh, embed external content. For that, I would like to go to a video of uh, YouTube and I say, well, embed the code of this video and uh, I'm now able to use that embedded code into my workspace. How do I do that? I can go to Accessoires Embed and I can paste the code of the YouTube video here. The same counts for other web applications like Twitter or Facebook or Jammer where you can say, well, embed the code and automatically show the content of um, the part. In this case, it's the video. I can make it smaller, larger. Once again, I have the possibility to uh, adapt the size of the video uh, to the format that I would like to use. And the content also can be uh, shown within the screen as I have it open here. You can also use autoplay that if somebody comes to the workspace, this video automatically will start. For now, I would like to um, pause the video and add one more thing to my workspace which is uh, the possibility to log in as someone else. For that, I use this code. And using this code, I would like to um, automatically log in as Wendy Bakker. Once again, I will create a new link. I will paste the hyperlink and select a nice picture. The picture I would like to use is, for example, this nice lady open it, I would like to say same window and save. And now once again, something has been added to my workspace. Uh, clicking on that will mean that I will automatically log in as an employee with the ID 1015. Um, my screen is not yet uh, ready. I would like to add one more thing. First of all, make this a little bit smaller. Um, Next to web content as YouTube and Twitter, you can also use other web applications to show the content of the application here within your screen. I now use an example of Exact Insights, web-based BI tool, where the, in the same part I say, well, accessoires embed, and I copy the code into my widget. And you see here already the profitability of a project that has been shown here. I can make this once again larger or smaller. And I want to add one other part so I can show you how it can easily uh, work together within one uh, solution. Create once again the accessories embed. Paste the code and say, well, save. And now it's also available on my workspace. I will make this one a little bit smaller so I don't have to navigate through the system all the time using the scroll bars, making it a little bit smaller. And I have it now here on my screen next to my other um, BI report. What I could do now is what you see is that the content of the widgets is a content of another application, in this case, Exact Insights. So I can easily use here the selection and already play with the application, showing me uh, different uh, numbers on the right side. So if, if I want to show all the information from Olaf Schmilders, I can see here his projects. This is an example of where you can use web content of other applications into your own workspace. For now, this is um, what you see here based on uh, the workspace I just created together with you. I created also my uh, workspace that I started this video with, where you see here links to information and application here, the Twitter feeds and an image. This could be a really nice thing for employees to use only small parts of the system. Creating this, I would like to go to the top corner and share it with other people. By doing that, I have to go to add. And you see on the left side here, I can share it with a person, project members, 
people with a specific role and that's what I'm going to what I'm about to go is I would like to show share this with everybody on an employee self-service role use it on a corporate level and where they can only view this you can also select use as a template and they can create their own template or you can uh, give people editing rights where you can work together creating a workspace there are other possibilities you see here on the left side based on the vision job group job title and it's even possible to um, make it available for accounts or partners I now edit and now this part is available for people with that role um, what I also would like to do is pin it to their work workspace so I can say select here pin and now they get it automatically on their workspace available now I have to check in checking in means that it's available you see here I can edit it right now until I check it out again now going to my first workspace and uh, clicking on this button which gives me the opportunity to automatically log in as Wendy Bakker and I come if I log into the system as Wendy Bakker I see here my normal workspace but going here I can also see the color ESS which is pinned on her workspace selecting this left icon this will be the way I will be logging in the next time I go to exact synergy so now on Wendy comes here goes to color ESS and if the person that's re responsible for creating this page makes some changes then automatically she will also have these new start pages available she can go to her card she can see her resource card easily do some things um, ask for holiday go to her a digital file on the right side you see here automatically some Twitter uh, information that she is uh, available that's available now on their start page so this is a way of creating a workspace um, based on the look and feel of your website for now this is my video thanks for watching and if you've got any questions please let me know